Boost your English, personal vocabulary lists and flashcards. Hello everyone. Today, we're delving into an exciting strategy for improving your English vocabulary. Creating personal vocabulary lists and flashcards. This method is fantastic for boosting your memory, practicing your pronunciation, and, most importantly, enriching your vocabulary and idiomatic expressions. The beauty of personal vocabulary lists and flashcards lies in the fact that they're personalized. You get to focus on the words that you need or want to learn. Maybe these are words related to your profession, your hobbies, or words you just find difficult to remember. Flashcards, on the other hand, implement active recall. This means you're actively trying to remember the word or phrase, which strengthens your memory. They're also compact and portable. You can practice on the go. Let's start with creating your personal vocabulary lists. The first step is to identify new words. As you read, listen, or converse in English, note down any new words or phrases. You might be surprised by how many there are. Next, look up their meanings. Use a reliable dictionary to understand the word's meaning, and also check out some example sentences. Context is incredibly important when learning new words. Lastly, categorize your words. Organize them based on themes, like work, travel, or sports. This way, you can review the words that are most relevant to you at any given time. Now, let's move on to flashcards. On one side of the card, write the new word or phrase. On the other side, write its meaning, an example sentence, and maybe a synonym or antonym. Make sure to keep your cards neat and legible. You can make physical flashcards or use a digital flashcard app. The latter option gives you the advantage of having your flashcards with you at all times, right on your phone or tablet. Remember, it's not just about creating lists and flashcards. You have to use them too. Review your lists and flashcards regularly. Consistency is key when it comes to learning. Try to use your new words in sentences, either written or spoken. This will help cement them in your memory and improve your fluency. It's also a great idea to get someone to quiz you with your flashcards. It's fun and very effective. And there you have it. Your guide to building your English vocabulary using personal vocabulary lists and flashcards. Remember, it's all about the words that are relevant to you. It might be a bit of work to set up, but the benefits you'll gain in terms of improved vocabulary and expression are well worth it. So why not start today? Happy learning, and see you in our next video.